Here's the understatement of the century. The internet is full of misinformation. And that's why the Verify team is here, to go to the vetted experts to find out what's real and what's not. And all over social media, you'll see posts about something called pathogenic priming, described as a process where vaccines facilitate greater infection rather than block the virus. So to get to the bottom of all this, we turn to our experts, Dr. William Schaffner from Vanderbilt University and Dr. Sarah Fortune from the Harvard School of Public Health. First, here's the main question. Is pathogenic priming a real scientific concept? Well, in science, we don't call it pathogenic priming, but there is a kernel of truth to this concept. Schaffner says that the official name is antibody-mediated enhanced disease. So what is this illness? Under certain very rare circumstances, a body can produce antibody that when it later encounters the real germ, actually causes enhanced disease. The classic example of that was a vaccine developed against respiratory syncytial virus in the 1960s, when children who got it got sick after they got uh, exposed to RSV. But with RSV, this was all caught in early trials. And our experts emphasize that these days, a vaccine just wouldn't be approved if pathogenic priming existed. We're looking for this right out of the gate. This has been looked for in the laboratory, in animal models, in the early trials. It went through all of that development, but now we know from people, they're exceptionally safe. Not a single case has occurred. We've vaccinated 150 million people in the United States. Hasn't happened. You can rest easy. So we can verify that these posts on social media are false. Our experts say that there's no risk of pathogenic priming. The COVID vaccines are safe and effective. With your Verify, I'm Evan Kozlov.